You have questions, I have answers. Tyler Jones here with you with a, another Seahawks Today mailbag. And you may be wondering, you know, how do I get involved in the mailbags? Well, it's all right here on the channel. If you are subscribed, then you would know that we do each and every Wednesday our live shows where we answer your questions in real time. And whether it's through the Super Chats or using the hashtag Seahawks, you can get on the show, and we'll answer your questions. So subscribe now, youtube.com slash Seahawks TV. Turn on notifications so you never miss a moment of our channel. First question comes in from Dustin. Hashtag Seahawks, have the Seahawks looked at Minshew, or how long is his contract? Uh, Gardner Minu- Minshew is uh, he's on a pretty cheap contract. I think he's still on his rookie deal, to be exact. Um, there in Philadelphia. He's backing up Jalen Hurts. Um, I have not heard anything that they've looked at Gardner Minshew. I don't think they would have any reason to do so. Geno Smith's played great. Drew Locke sitting behind him. Uh, I don't see them moving to bring in Gardner Minshew. Gardner Minshew is a good quarterback, one of the best backup quarterbacks in the league, quite frankly, but don't see him coming to Seattle by any means. Nick writes in, what's the best case scenario for Seattle to make the Super Bowl and Geno Smith to win the MVP award? Well, the best case scenario probably involves somebody taking out the Philadelphia Eagles. Because here's the deal. I've said this before, and I'll say it again. Right now, not this is not a diss on Seattle. Don't take this this way. Right now, the Philadelphia Eagles are on another level compared to everyone else in the National Football League. They're undefeated. They've beaten some good teams. And the way that they have played at this point, I would not get in the way the Philadelphia Eagles. And so the best-case scenario is to avoid them where somebody hopefully beats them for you, and then you find your way to get to the Super Bowl of some sort. So – To me, that's what I look at, the best-case scenario. Now, as far as the MVP award goes, Geno Smith, Geno's played well. But I think, you know, when you're the MVP, you have to have, like, those four and five touchdown games with over 300 yards passing where everything just goes berserk every once in a while. Geno still needs a few more of those to really elevate himself in that MVP conversation. But the MVP race, wide open at this point. Geno Smith be a part. Standard writes in, is there any way the Seahawks sign OBJ? Um, Problem is money. OBJ is not going to be your typical free agent at this point of the year. The guys we usually talk about uh, at this point in the year as free agents are usually looking for like a, a league minimum deal, looking just to be happy to get on a roster. OBJ is a free agent – for two reasons, because of the injury and the other by choice. OBJ is not going to be playing for a league minimum deal of some sorts, and Seattle does not have a whole lot of cap space right now. So if Seattle were to bring in OBJ, they'd have to do some movement, move some guys around potentially to bring him in. So it's a reach. It's an outside chance. I don't think he's going there, but I wouldn't roll out and say it's impossible at this point. What say you? Should Seattle sign OBJ? Let's do this in true chat sports fashion. If you think they should, type OBJ. If not, type no BJ. Okay? Check that out in the comments section. Type OBJ for yes, no BJ for no. Next question. Do you think Joey Blunt will ever get some defensive snaps? Well, Joey Blunt is uh, coming off injury, so that certainly helps that he's getting healthy. And we already know about Jamal Adams, you know, and you know he's out for the year and all that. I think it's possible. I think Joey Blunt has the opportunity to get some snaps out there and be a part of that defense. I would not rule that out at all that we see uh, Joey Blunt getting some defensive snaps besides just special teams, but getting legit defensive snaps, yeah, that certainly seems possible. Today's show is presented by Established Titles. Save an extra 10% off the perfect holiday gift uh, just in time at EstablishedTitles.com slash chat. And you may be wondering, well, how, how do I get involved in this? Well, it's a fun, novel way to preserve 
Natural Woodlands of Scotland while helping global reforestation efforts. It's a project based on a historic Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as lairds or lords and ladies in English. Title packs give you at least one square foot of dedicated land with a unique plot number on a private estate in Edelston, Scotland, and an official certificate with a crest. We plant a tree with every order and work with global charities, one tree planted, and trees for the future to support global reforestation efforts. You could officially include the title Lord or Lady on your credit card, plane tickets, dating profiles, and more. Makes for a great last-minute gift. The first 200 people purchasing a title pack using my link will effectively be next to my plot within a few minutes of walking distance. Depending on how many of you want to be a Lord or Lady, we can build our little Seahawks Today kingdom. Established Titles is actually running a massive early Black Friday sale right now with discounts up to 80% off. Plus, if you use the code CHAT, you get an additional 10% off. Go to EstablishedTitles.com slash chat to get your gifts now and help support Seahawks today. I already got mine. You can get yours at EstablishedTitles.com slash chat to get yours now. A few more questions here for you. Ryan writes in, I'm calling it. TB12 is getting sacked Five times. Ryan, I like the optimism. One problem, although I like what the Seahawks pass rush has done, that they're coming a long way. They've gotten a lot better from what they were at the start of the year. Tom Brady still throws the football really quick. Still gets that ball off fast. So I don't know necessarily if uh, Tom Brady is going to allow to get sacked five times. Next one comes in, a big old super chat from Mark Sanchez. I'm a nerd and use math every day as a CNC mechanics. Nerds stick together like birds of a feather. Hawk fans to an Eagle fan. Das Boot. Hashtag chugs. <laughs> well, uh, nerds, the nerds live on. I'm glad Mark is representing the nerds and let his presence be known. You know what? Uh, nerds, it's not a bad thing to be a nerd, especially if you can be like Mark Sanchez or Jeremy Chuggs. Maybe I'm not qualified to run for office not being a nerd, but you know what? I'm glad that I'm around some good nerds like Mark and Jeremy Chuggs. Next one uh, coming in from Steven. How come no one is talking about how good Lockett has been this year? Hashtag Seahawks. You know, Steven, that's a good question. Uh, I think I'll say this. We get kind of this perception, right, of the idea of who's who's kind of talking about, you know, who stands out and whatnot uh, around, you know, what the national media says and what the national media narrative is. And what I would say is don't worry about the noise. It's all just noise, right? We're talking about Tyler Lockett around here. We're giving him the credit he deserves. And everyone else that knows the Seahawks and watches this team knows how well Tyler Lockett is playing and that he's been a big part of Geno Smith's success. So, Steven, we we know what Tyler Lockett's doing. He hasn't gotten past us. Thanks for the comment there. Alex writes in, how different is this game preparation-wise for the Seahawks playing in Germany compared to Tampa? That's a good question. So, preparation-wise, I think that the main thing is it actually just takes time away from your preparation. Seattle to Tampa is not a quick flight by any means. But, I mean, newsflash, Seattle to Munich is a much longer flight. And so, it just takes that time away. The thing, though, is that, you know, the Bucs, even though they have a shorter flight to Munich, there's you know, still takes a lot of time out of their preparation. So for me, that's the thing I look at is just it takes away the time that you would normally uh, be using for other things potentially. Uh, So, you know, maybe they use the extra flight time for more film study or things like that. But to me, that's what I look at is that just that rest of what you would do in your normal activities, it takes you out of your routine necessarily with that extra time that you are traveling there. Who do you got? Bucks or Seahawks, if you're rolling with the Seahawks. I know you are, but we just got to check. Type C for the Seahawks. If you're rolling with the Bucks, type TB for the Buccaneers. Let me know in the comment section. C for the Seahawks, TB for the Bucks. 
All right, next question. Do you think the Seahawks can make it far in the playoffs? Make it far? Well, here's the deal. The NFC is not that good. Beyond the Philadelphia Eagles, beyond the Minnesota Vikings, then there's a a drop, right? The Cowboys are okay. The Giants are okay. The Seahawks already beat the Giants. The Bucs, who they'll play this week, have not played that good this year. So there's an opening. Do I think they are going to get past the Philadelphia Eagles right now? No. But, I mean, a divisional round team going to a conference title game, that's not a reach at this point for this Seattle team. We'll see. Hard to project uh, at this point in time, but uh, I think they're right there in the in the upper half. They're within that top five teams in the NFC right now. Uh, will Aaron Donker play this game? Uh, Aaron Donker, you know, part of that uh, international uh, player program, Aaron Donker is. And, uh, you know, as, as cool as it is for a guy that uh, was overseas and everything, you know, being a, uh, a guy that you know, grew up in Germany and all, uh, I think that they'll find a way to get him on the field. He usually doesn't get a whole lot of playing time, you know, but I could see a scenario potentially where, you know, if you know, he's on the practice squad right now and the Seahawks do have an open roster spot at the time we're taping this, um, I could see them promoting him to that final spot and maybe throw him out on special teams or something like that uh, for him to get some love there in Germany. But as of right now, uh, the answer is no because he's not on the active roster. But we'll see. Uh, it'd be cool. It'd be cool, though, for sure. Mama's boy, how much better a healthy Adams makes this team? Um, I think they're pretty good already. Without Jamal Adams, uh, he'd make him better, sure. But I think credit where credit's due. Pete Carroll, Clint Hurt, this defensive staff, they've adapted accordingly. Jamal Adams, when he's healthy, is a really good football player. But I, I don't see this being a significant jump or they'd be miles better with a Jamal Adams just because they're already good as is. Speaking of Jamal Adams, another question comes in from Charlie. Uh, wants to know, has, yes, last name Wilson. Has Jamal Adams played his last game for the Seahawks? No, I don't think so. Because the way the contract situation works, it just doesn't make any sense for Seattle to release him with as much as they would owe him. And I don't see anyone taking on that contract. He's going to be healthy probably in the springtime. And I think he's back next year. Um, I know it has been a roller coaster with Jamal Adams, this run in Seattle, but I don't think his days are over by any stretch. True or false, Jamal Adams will return to the Seahawks next year. We here at Seahawks today think he will. If you agree with us, type T for true. If not, type F for false. Let me know in the comment section. T for true, F for false, if Jamal Adams will play next year. Next question, hashtag Seahawks. We easily beat the Eagles. Easily I, I think easily is is uh, is a little maybe overconfident because um, I just respect what the Eagles have done. Again, not a diss on Seattle. Don't take it that way at all. But we have to credit uh, what the uh, Eagles have done at this point to be undefeated. The way that they've dominated, the way they've looked on both sides of the ball. Nick Sirianni is the coach of the year right now. You know, I think – the Seahawks can make it a competitive game. But out of respect to Philadelphia, I would not be picking Seattle in that game if that were to happen. Next question from linebacker. Do you think Gino will <laughs> do high knees? That's funny. So, in case people don't get that reference, uh, Russell Wilson in the trip out to London that the uh, Broncos had a couple weeks ago, he was bragging about doing high knees on the plane. And everybody was like, What's with this dork? You know, I mean, like, Russell, he, he's such an odd guy, you know. And, and no, I, I, I think Gino's got a little more composure than that. I don't think he's doing high knees on an airplane. But nonetheless, that's funny. Aaron writes, what players have the best chance of winning awards? Um, three names in particular. Geno Smith, uh, obviously, for 
uh, comeback player of the year. I think he's in contention for offensive player of the year, MVP, discussion for all three. Kenneth Walker, he's a candidate for offensive rookie of the year, one of the two favorites uh, up there as well as uh, he's right there with Pierce, the uh, running back for the Texans. Defensive player, defensive rookie of the year, Tariq Wollins right there. And Sauce Gardner, they're kind of neck and neck for that defensive player of the year award. And I think Sirianni's the coach of the year right now, but I think Pete Carroll's got a shot to still right, be up there for coach of the year. And and John Schneider for executive of the year. So I think you have three players that could be walking away with postseason awards and maybe a coach and general manager as well. Speaking of the comeback player of the year award with Geno Smith, that seems like a given, right? At this point, seems like it's it's going to happen. There's not an Alex Smith story this season. Um, I think Geno's got a good chance to be comeback player of the year. If you agree with me, type HY for hell yes. If you disagree, type HN for hell no. Let me know in the comment section what do you think. HY for hell yes, HN for hell no if Geno will win comeback player of the year. You can interact with me on social media, Twitter and Instagram, at Tyler Jones Live, Facebook as well. And I will see you next time right here on Seahawks Today.